Have you ever been frustrated trying to get your table to look just right, only to find that the text colors don't change as you hover over the rows? If that sounds familiar, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to solve the issue of forcing child elements to inherit the parent's hover color. I totally get it. It can be really annoying when you have a beautiful table set up, but the hover effects just don't work as expected. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I make all text in a row change color when I hover over any cell in that row? They shared their code, which shows different colors for each text part, but only the black text changes to red on hover. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So what's happening here? The issue arises because the hover effect is only applied to individual table cells. When you hover over a cell, it only affects that specific cell, not the entire row. We need a way to apply the hover effect to the whole row instead. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make your tables not only functional, but also visually stunning. To achieve the desired hover effect, the user should modify the CSS for the table rows. First, we need to ensure that the text color changes for all cells in the row when any cell is hovered over. Next, the user should ensure that the individual cell styles do not override the row hover effect. This can be done by removing any specific text color styles from the individual cells. Now, let's check the HTML structure. The user should ensure that the table rows are correctly set up with the necessary elements. Each row should contain the cells that will change color on hover. Finally, the user should test the changes in a web browser. When hovering over any cell in a row, all text should now change to red while the background turns black. Fun fact, did you know that the first web pages were just plain text? Now we can create beautiful interactive tables with just a few lines of code. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests modifying your CSS to ensure all text within the row changes color on hover. Instead of applying the color change directly to the row, you can target all child elements using a wildcard selector. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution suggests that instead of targeting all elements inside the table cells, you can specifically target the span and H5 elements. By using the hover effect on the table row, you can change the text color of these elements to red when hovering over the row. Here's a pro tip. Always remember to test your hover effects in different browsers to ensure consistency. This will save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. Your table should now highlight correctly on hover with all text changing color as intended. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't forget to check out our next video for more styling tricks.